Hey, how's it going? Commander64 here again, and I'm doing another Let's Play video. It's going to be Trailblazer 2, as Rodney Trotter says, Cosmic Causeway. So, uh, let's get on with it. Hi, so you may be wondering where the giant uh, ball costume has gone. Well, there's one thing I've learned from the Dizzy Fantasy World video, which you can watch by clicking the link up there, is that dressing up in a big inflatable ball covered in a duvet in the middle of summer, spring, um, and playing a video game in the sweltering heat was not the best idea I've ever had. Not the worst idea I've ever had, but it's definitely, definitely not the best idea I've ever had and I don't think I'm going to be doing that again. You may be wondering to yourself, am I watching a madman who has coloured his wife's t-shirt in red marker pen? Yes, you, yes you are. We have no more red pen in the house. I am wearing it. And these are the lengths I go to to appear to you as a computer sprite. <laughs> Fully grown man. The first thing you see after loading the game is the scoreboard, or the mega scores as they're called on here. Don't, don't do that Nick, that's horrible. Obviously the top 10 at the moment are the developers of the game. So you can see, uh, if you look below the title of the game, it's by Sean Southern and Andrew Morris who've got the top spots. You may recognise Gremlin in ninth place, the obviously Gremlin Graphics who developed the game. Number 10 is obviously the who's copyrighted the game there, copyright by Mr Chip Software 1987. You're also rewarded with a rating after you've either run out of time or completed the game. Uh, I think there are 26 ratings overall, ranging from abysmal, hilarious, pitiful. Uh, my personal favourite is Skoda Rainer. Obviously, there was a running joke in the 80s that Skodas were very slow cars. I don't know, it's probably still a joke, but I've not heard it in a while. But I think the developers might think twice about <laughs> essentially bunching a company's product with abysmal and hilarious and pitiful. <laughs> well, you might think twice about doing that today, but you know, hey, it was acceptable in the 80s. That, that's a song. <laughs> Moving up from there, you get Great Crusher, pleasing, fair play to you. It goes up and up and up out of this world, inspired, and the, and the top two are Super Blazer and Mega Blazer. Okay, so left and right, obviously moves you all left and right. That hole, it's a matter of time in this correctly. Slow down and speed up accordingly. Purple one bounces you. Uh, there we go. And the thing about this is you really have to get it in sync. If you sync it up nicely, then you'll hit. It's like hitting a green light at a traffic light system. If you sync it up nicely, it'll be fine. If you're out of sync, you're just going to keep falling into the abyss and missing those bouncy ones every time. This grey platform obviously means the end of the level, and then you're on to the next one. Uh, commentary is going to be either really frantic, because there's so much going on, or um, it's going to just... I'm just going to go silent, because <laughs> the pace is so blistering in this game that it leaves my limited brain power with very, very small percentage <laughs> dedicated to talking with you. I mean, it's taking all my concentration to just not die, or um, not fall into the abyss. Um, and there's so much as well, I don't know what to talk about first because there's so many different things in this game. Now there's a shooting bit. That... And here's a quick run through of everything I've found in the game so far. And I'm sure I haven't found it all yet. As you've seen, there's gaps in the floor. These can be permanent holes or they can appear and disappear. With the latter, it's all about adjusting your speed and guessing the timing of these intermittent drops into the abyss. Blue panels will help you bounce over these gaps and some other obstacles along the way. Purple panels are going to keep bouncing the back until you either move around them or bounce over them. You can use the fire button to do little hops. Sometimes these hops are enough to get you over those purple panels. Avoid red panels. They act like glue and they're going to temporarily slow you down. But hit as many green panels as you can. These act like a turbo boost. 
Okay, now forgive me for the pronunciation, I think it's Cyan. And these lead to a land of confusion, as it swaps your left and right controls, which can really mess your head up. There's also shooting levels, dodging things, there's walls to avoid, and there's boss levels. And on top of all of this, if you collect the shiny discs along the way, you can gain credits. And credits can be spent at the end of each run by some good timing with the fire button. On the bottom of the screen, you'll see how many credits you've got, then your timer, and then next to that, you'll see a bunch of icons. Wait for your desired icon to light up, and click the fire button to spend your credits on a power-up. The power-ups included are multiplying your score by three for the cost of two credits, doing your best Lionel Richie impression by rolling on the ceiling where they are available for three credits, deactivating certain panels, cyan, cayen, whatever, three credits, purple for four credits, extra speed for five credits, a shield against collisions for six credits, roll over the gaps into the abyss for seven credits, and slow down your timer for seven credits. But they've packed this with so many different ideas it's really well thought out and it's such a simple and addictive game but there's so much variety within it to keep you interested i love this game i really love it even though i suck <laughs> let's see what rating we got anyway Pitiful. Yeah, that sounds about right. Graphics. The visuals look really nice still. And back in the day, they really impressed me. Like, I... This bit is so annoying! I really think it's a nice looking game as well. I mean, I was back in the day really quite impressed with the visuals and I still think they're pretty good now. Oh this bit it sort of reverses your controls from your left becomes your right, your right becomes your left. Oh yeah I hate that. It messes with my head. Um what was I saying? Oh yes the visuals yeah I mean the the the, the ball, the sprite, it looks like it's spinning and the way that the ground shifts from side to side and things come towards you and that. As a child, I looked at this game as a 3D rendered game. I may have been wrong to think that, but that's the way I looked at it. Like, wow, it's 3D. 3D rendered games were not common sight. And if you got a 3D rendered game on a Commodore, it would be wireframe. Oh my God, this bit is so annoying. <laughs> the sound is great too because the music is pretty cool. I like the music and there is quite a lot of sound in it. You may remember my last video was, well I hope you remember my last video, Star Trek. There was literally nothing. <laughs> no music, no sound. And it, it makes for a dull experience a little bit. There's, Nothing to entertain your earlobes. Earlobes? No, we don't. Okay, we got skilled! That, I mean, I'm pretty happy with skilled. We are definitely getting better at this game. We're coming up to the baddie now, the boss, which is a really nice touch because you don't expect to see something like this in a game like this, you know, it's... But you don't get a lot of time to, to, to do this. <laughs> um, and that dying animation just takes all the time out of it, but what a great idea, you know, have a, um, a final boss on the on the game. I don't think that's the final boss. I think it's just one of them. But it's a really cool idea. So that about does it for me. I mean I could play this all night but you don't want to watch me play it all night. Because um, I am going to go silent at some point. I'm going to run out of things to say. And then I'm going to get angry and start breaking stuff. Because <laughs> it really does <laughs> boil my urine at times. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you check out the game. You really should. It's such an awesome game. And have a great day. It's Commander 64. Signing off.